What's going on everybody? This is Chariot Man 7 Videos and I'm coming at you with another video presentation. And right here, this is another um, presentation. I just got the news for a couple of days ago that the Nintendo Switch is going to be presented. It's a presentation coming at 2017 next year on January 12th and I am totally excited about that because uh, Nintendo has never ever usually come out like and outright tell us it's always like a secret thing with them and I'm totally excited that this is about to happen you know and I want to and I want to know and I want to see what they got in store for all of us fans great Nintendo fans you know gamer fans in general you know any gamer fan doesn't matter who but I'm totally excited for this uh, presentation because this is not just a regular presentation. This is not like the, the, the direct presentation. This is the old, they're going back to the old presentation. And it's not going to be a direct, and we're going to be sitting there. There's going to be a live presentation. And it's going to be in Tokyo, Japan. On Jan it's also going to be streaming in Tokyo, Japan on January 13th. And in the U.S., it's going to be in the 12th. And I just got another article for, called The Verge. And like they were saying, Nintendo will reveal the Switch's price and release date on January 12th. And this, the Nintendo was saying that Nintendo does not plan to reveal much more about its upcoming Switch console this year. But you don't have to wait too long until 2017. The company all just announced a quoted Nintendo Switch presentation in Tokyo, January 13th, and the 12th. You think will be steamed live around the world? You know what that means, man. There's going to be a lot of reactions, and I can't wait to hear that. Nintendo will use the event to announce the similar price, release date, and enter. Line up a game, and I just can't wait for the, wait wait to hear that. There's gonna be so many lines line up of games. I want to hear about the NBA 2K17. I want to hear about this um, Skyrim. I want to hear about. Hopefully, they got Resident Evil coming out for us too. You know, I want to hear about all the games because, you know, this is you know we haven't really heard much about the, the Nintendo Switch. A lot of people got doubts. You know, there's a lot of speculation about the power. We get to know the power as you see here. You know, you see that beautiful screen of Zelda. Um. The wing wake um breath of the wild and you see the man taking up the tap taking up the tablet and you see the controller you know we have a lot of speculation about this system and what it what, what it can do and you know and i'm trusting in the nintendo this time they're going to deliver this is not like the wii i mean even though in 2012 the wii it started off good and it had a lot of a lot of um third party support not like it is now but now there's more third party support coming in and like I said before, like I said in my last video, there was never this many third-party support happening. Like, this is, is sick. This is completely crazy, man. And I can't wait. And I can't wait to hear the, the reactions of the crowd. Cause I'm going to be, I'm going to have my date set ready to see that, that video. Like, I am totally excited, man. And there's a lot of, like, a lot of Nintendo fans around this community, in the gaming community, and throughout the world is excited. Because I'm, you know, I'm excited, man. But I still, I got love for other companies too, though. You know, PlayStation 4 Pro. Xbox One, but this is about the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, this is give enough Nintendo enough time to reveal the system, and I think they did this because they don't want nobody to steal their thunder or they steal their ideas. I think that's why they they marketed it this way because now it, they they gave a little bit out, they gave a little bit of information out, but now when they brought out the Nintendo Switch in January, everything would be out the way. The PlayStation Pro would be out already. There would be more announcement of the Xbox One Scorpio. Everybody would already. The, the holidays will be gone. It's will be a whole new year and a fresh start. And then Nintendo can finally reveal what this baby can do, man. What this bad boy can do. And I know that this thing has some power because, like I said, Bodesta, Bodista, as you call it, they ain't not gonna mess with any company like that. They just not gonna mess with mess with the Nintendo, uh, mess with just any company. If it ain't about power, it ain't about having the latest technology. They're not gonna be around. And Nintendo, this this shows the proof. You know. And it's just, it's just gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an amazing time for us gamers, man. You know, especially for, you know, cause it's been a, it's been a long time. Nintendo's been on top, and I and there's a lot of people talking about it. people that I have on my Facebook. One person said, "Oh, I think the Nintendo's pretty good," and he didn't even say anything about Nintendo. You know, so a lot of people saying a lot of positive things. So, and I gotta remind, I gotta put this picture up to remind these partners, man. Konami, Konami, hmm, yeah, but they on board, but. Like I'm saying, T -T -T THQ, 505 Games, Activision. I want to see what they got in store for us. I want to see Capcom bring the Street Fighter games back, especially Resident Evil 7. I want to see that game on the internet, the, the Switch. T 
THQ Nordic. I want to see what they got in store. Sega, I know they got the new Sonic game coming. Hopefully, they got the Sonic Mania. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what else? What he got here? Unity. I know Unity got their games. Unreal Engine 4 is on. It's on the Switch. Uh, at Titus, they got a lot of. You know, they got a lot of projects coming. Um, Technical Techmo. TQ, that's what they have the 2K17. I'm waiting, I'm looking forward to that game so most. I'm gonna be playing, I'm gonna be getting online and getting it in that game. You know, and I wanna see what um Rachel Studios got in store for us. You know, just like a repeat from last video. Oh, went Warner Brothers and they got the Batman games and I can't wait for that. Namkai Nepco, I wanna see what they got in store. This is gonna be some exciting. I wanna see next year what they got in store for this for this great this 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 revolution system because I think it's revolutionary and it's gonna be it's gonna be a great thing time for Nintendo fans and just for gamer fans in general because you know you want Nintendo to stay Nintendo has you know been been the helm of the gaming for years oh Ubisoft I can't forget about them and I want to see Watch Dogs I want to see I mean maybe hope they could give us a, a Zombie U2 that would be great Zombie U2 should be a part of this thing so I can't, I'm, I'm excited for that so you know. And EA, man, I hope they bring back NBA Live, NBA Live 2017. I hope they bring that to the, uh, the Nintendo Switch. You know, I'm just really want to see what the, the voice chats. I want to know about all the, the in integration, the apps. I want to see everything. But you know, I just want to make this quick video. You know, about this uh, news that I just heard. And you know, like I said, you know, as I say before, click that button, subscribe, share my videos. I got more content on the way. It's all you know and. Just hit that button and yeah thank you for watching chariot man videos and i'll talk to you guys later peace